Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Dumb broad does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Keith Lee chopped this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers, and knowing this station, it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. hey Oh! Oh, oh that no! That no! I think I hurt my hand in my... I think he's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lazo, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you. I'm Mirai's my favorite lady. You're looking for some fun? A little, hmm, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Say, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. Hmm, thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Come on, Fido. Let's go and check out this party. Well, it's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite dish so they can beat their propaganda right into my brain. Come on. You honestly believe the NSA's echelon system is already in the conversation? It's all designed to frighten us to so complain about a right being taken away. Like whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, they already got me once. But never again. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chip. Huh? All right, Fudder, you wait here and look after the car while I go and shake my butt, all right? live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. My husband qualifies all units. This is narcotics made of Anakin. I mean... Do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to catch a lane. And they say uh, aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Get out of here. Woo! The people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Cherokee. Man, and, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about, a sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby hopscotch. Man, get me in. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while, and you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. I better go. I'll see you around, my heart.
Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my boxing monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Yes. Here we go. L I P S one Commercial radio at its best and proud of it. Lips 106. Hey, this weekend, if you want to dance your ass off, Check out Sex Club 7 for some steamy, hot trance music. And that's in the red light district. If jazz is your bag, there's an all-night jazz feast at Luigi's Bar, and that's also in the red light district. Riffs 106. our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I mean. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore's becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Coming up next, it's Andy's short, hot mix when we play one record back to back. take these Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. 
they must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we got to use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leon. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Portland Harbor investigate report the gunfire and explosion.
It's my favorite cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's Club. The inside is covered in brains. We gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. You a cute kitten overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <coughs> And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He won't take me so hard, but the fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now. I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country. I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had beat me since. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... Look, this is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's just so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. <laughs> 